Hi everyone, and I'm here to tell you about the TCS Ninja hiring for those who are graduating in 2022. Brilliant opportunity for all of you, and it really marks like the first major event in this cycle of placements. So. Let's get started with all of the details that you can observe for TCS NQT 2021 that is hiring for the people who are graduating in 2022. First things first is the important information that is the last date to register for the TCS Ninja test is 29th August 2021. So if you've not yet registered just pause this video and go ahead and register for that. You can find that online and we'll also put the link in the description below. The test will be conducted from 12th September 2021 onwards. So they will not be conducted on just one day they will be conducted like on multiple days and they'll be conducted like 12 september onwards so that's another thing to keep in mind now what's the actual pattern of tcs ninja or tcs nqt they roughly have the same pattern the pattern is as follows it's an aptitude plus technical mcqs plus coding around so there are going to be like three sort of uh, expertise that you need to be good at one is the verbal reasoning and numerical so this is your typical crt training that is your campus recruitment sort of training that you require and you know the aptitude questions that come in 24 questions in verbal 13 reasoning 26 in numerical now remember that ninja is a national qualifier test that means the entire country is going to participate in it which means that the level of aptitude is generally taken to be higher than usual and so you're going to have to prepare in that sense that you know don't just think that you know just normal aptitude preparation will do you'll need to prepare a little bit higher then comes programming logic so programming logic is going to have roughly about 10 mcqs for a duration of 15 minutes and last year we observed some important things in this programming logic part so i'll tell you later on what's the kind of syllabus you can expect and same thing with coding now coding is usually the differentiator because everybody prepares a good amount in aptitude everybody prepares for programming mcqs you know you somehow figure it out but coding if your question is not running if it's not submitting then you don't really actually get the entire marks and so these two coding questions can make or break your tcs ninja make sure you prepare well what's the syllabus for the coding questions i'll come to you in just a little bit right now if you want to prepare for all of these things one of the things you can do is always subscribe to this channel because we are going to do a lot more videos on tcs coding rounds tcs programming logic rounds and we're going to tell you what are some of the shortcuts or the best ways to solve these questions and so on so that's definitely coming up on this channel please subscribe if you want a more in-depth analysis do check out the tcs nqt 2021 pack or the tcs ninja pack from edist it is in the description below the link of it is in the description below what's the thing that you'll get with this is you'll get 24 7 access to our entire edist platform i'll show that to you in just a bit more than thousand questions and these are all previously asked questions both on programming mcqs programming logic everything so more than thousand mcqs already there on the platform just go ahead sign up and prepare for them you have more than 30 tutorials co combined for all the coding questions as well as for the mcqs in fact right now if you just want to check your level you can go and check out one free mock test based on the pattern that we have mentioned so if for nothing go ahead and check out the free mock test that we have we have five paid mock tests what's up with this paid mock test is basically they're the same pattern as tcs ninja all previously asked questions and on those mock tests you can schedule them whenever you want to schedule them and take those mock tests and uh, see how ready you are you have explanation to all the coding questions explanation to all the mcq questions and in fact for coding questions specifically let's say you have syntax error you have runtime error we have mentor support for the coding questions so you will have live mentors online who can help you out with these things and then you have support on forums as well so i'll tell you the syllabus what you should prepare for nqt in just a bit but let me just show you this what i was talking to you about over here so if i just open up the edis platform by clicking the link in the description below this is what will happen for me right so this is the page that opens up you can check out the entire thing you can check out you know about the course you can check out about the different syllabus this is as i mentioned already i'll mention the syllabus to you but this is there most of the solutions are given by me so you can get all of the solution videos etc by me and um, yeah we are going to start some live classes also here so subscribe to this channel so you come to know more about live sessions live doubt clearing sessions and so on if you want to just try this out or even try the one free assignment, all you can do is just click this try one free module and it will open up this page over here. Okay. So but the moment you click that try one free module, it will open up this page. And as you can see, there's an intro here. 
in the intro when i click it i get one free mock test what is this one free mock test it's the three numerical logical and verbal questions then you have explanation in all of those questions then you also have tutorial on the coding questions over here and then you have two coding questions both of them are previously asked questions from tcs ninja you have the solutions for both of them also present over there so go ahead at least sign up for this free mock test so to see your own level and how good you are at tcs ninja at this point furthermore you can also chat with your peers over here we also have a mentor online and we will have multiple mentors online to help you with the coding questions so you can always chat with them and understand what are the doubts you have and they will be able to help you out so yeah that's all about the edis tcs ninja pack now what's the syllabus that you can expect generally in tcs ninja well for programming mcqs you can expect things like pseudo code and give the output like they will give you a question or they will give you like a pseudo code and you have to predict what the output is going to be for the languages now i know a lot of students ask what is the languages to study so any one language is fine the problem is in programming mcqs so in coding questions any one language is fine but in programming mcqs you need to know roughly speaking all of these languages now why do i say all of these well as per last year right when we saw a lot of students and a lot of edit students uh, thousands and thousands of edit students have actually cleared tcs ninja i took the feedback from all of them and what we noticed was that the mcqs were varying from all of these topics and i thought how can that be possible well the reason is that you studied c c++ java and python or a combination of these in your college life so in your four years if you studied these then you should be able to answer some mcqs on that so there were questions from java oop there were some questions from python from c++ so you will need to know a bit of everything that's why practice as many previously asked questions they don't ask everything from each of these languages there are only specific topics that they ask on so do practice as many previously asked questions as you can data types is an important thing if you are a python only student then you will think oh data types there are only four data types or something but when i say data types i mean the ones in c c++ and java your double versus int your float versus double and so on so you need to know all the different data types exception handling they love to give questions on exception handling you know try except custom except and so on so those kind of questions searching and sorting algorithms is another topic they love to ask on things like bubble sort binary search a linear search selection sort insertion sort they'll not ask you to actually say which sort is this but rather they are going to give you an implementation of selection sort and ask you to modify it or change it or say what's the output at the third iteration so that's what they're going to give you um data structures mcqs can be asked on any of the data structures usually speaking stacks queues linked lists and trees these are the four major data structures i have not seen mainly graph questions asked in programming mcqs but i would not put it beyond them they might ask like very very simple graph questions same thing with trees they are not going to ask you to actually code up a tree but they may ask it to you in mcqs finally in keywords and exceptions when i say exceptions here these are not the exceptions of exception handling rather these are those exceptions for example you know in usual case the static keyword means this but when i apply the static keyword with something else it means something else or the famous case of method overloading usually you cannot have two methods with the same name but when you put it in a class and you have two methods with the same name but different parameters you can use it as method overloading so those are the kind of exceptions i'm talking about over here and similarly with keywords so if you are if you're familiar with java that this and super keyword in python also the self keyword similarly in c and c++ so specific keywords what is their meaning and they can ask you an mcq on that part so yep best way to know what are all the topics that they can ask is by preparing on previously asked questions in coding rounds so one good news is that in coding rounds if you prepared for other companies which i hope you've been preparing for generally speaking tcs ninja wipro elite accenture's first round all of these have similar level of questions in the sense they are not too difficult now can you pick these questions up in the last 2 3 days no if you don't know any programming you cannot suddenly pick it up but if you've been doing some programming for the last 2 3 months all of these questions should come very simply to you or at least you should be able to revise them so for example questions on loops nested loops and patterns they'll give you a pattern you have to print that pattern on maths things like prime numbers and factorials again they will not give you find the prime number or check if the number is prime or not but they'll give you something like if the number is prime print the multiplication of the two digits if the number is not prime print the sum of the digits you know something like that so they'll combine it so you need to be well versed with a combination of these topics arrays your typical things like find the sum of the array maximum number in the array find the three maximum numbers in the array the two minimum numbers in the arrays 2d arrays things like matrix multiplication summing two matrices and so on so standard questions but with a slight twist so if you've done your questions 
properly if you've actually managed to do them by yourself not copying from others but actually you know studying by yourself then you should be able to clear this strings and data structures as well so strings you'll have generally questions on palindrome you will have questions on finding the substring which matches a particular criteria and so on data structures is highly unlikely i have not seen tcs ninja ever ask but in the case they do they may ask something on stacks queues linked list i don't think they're going to ask mostly they ask on stack so at maximum they're going to ask on stack so that's your syllabus that you can sort of expect for tcs ninja obviously they can ask you a few things here and there outside but these are the most probable questions that you can get for all of these for a topic wise breakdown on each one of them you can uh, once again i'm telling you, you can check out the edis platform where we have one free mock test which you can try out and also for each topic including aptitude by the way we have a topic wise breakdown for example in quantitative aptitude we have percentages ratios proportion numbers so for each of them we have a tutorial and we also have explanation for the mcq questions after that so that you have tutorial and then that's followed by mcq questions later on so let me just show you that yeah so your logical verbal this is your previous year's coding questions if i go to the previous year's coding questions here you will get these coding questions divided by topic so it's per topic with each one of them having a tutorial and a solution so do go ahead try these out and they will definitely help you out in your preparation for TCS Ninja 2021. If you like such videos, do reach out to us by commenting below and letting us know that, you know, you want us to produce more such videos about the different placement tests. Subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do a lot of live streams on solving previous year's papers, previous year's questions and so on. So do subscribe to this channel and sign up for the course if you want to get serious about cracking TCS Ninja. Thank you all for joining today. This is just the start of the cycle of placements. You have TCS Ninja, we're going to be pro elite, Accents is going to hire, Infosys may hire again. So all of these rounds are going to keep coming up. Stay tuned, wishing you guys all the best and see you all next time. Thank you.